I became Dortmund manager to win them the Bundesliga title and the Champions League, but things aren't going to plan. We are top of the Bundesliga, undefeated as well, but after what happened in the last episode, that might not last like that for much longer. Our best player, Gregor Kobold, got injured, and he's going to be out for another three months. And his injury helped us get knocked out of the UCL group stage after we finished third. We are, however, in the Europa League facing the Hammers in the preliminary round, so there is still a small chance we can get European silverware. But we also got knocked out of the DFB Pokal by none other than, you guessed it, Bayern Munich. But we do have 56 million to spend with the January transfer right around the corner, so we will be using this money to make a couple of signings, so stay tuned for that. And if you are indeed enjoying this series, drop a like on this video and smash that subscribe button. Now, my main concern for the next three months is, of course, our keeper situation. Gregor Kobel is out until March, and we really can't rely on Alexander Meyer to fill in Gregor Kobel's shoes. I also don't want to spend millions on a short-term replacement either when we are going to get Kobel back in March. So I looked in the free agents list, and I found Louise Malagon. Granted, he's only 77 overall, but he's 26 years old. He's three ratings higher than Alexander Meyer, and honestly, for free, we really can't complain at this. So I've offered 23 grand a week with a 210 grand signing bonus. I'm just hoping he goes for it now. And he does. That is absolutely brilliant. For absolutely nothing, we've actually managed to improve our goalkeeper position. But after I signed Louise Malagon, I had burst into my office. Goodwin, I hate to do this to the lads, but I want to leave Dortmund. Bayern knocked us out of the DFB Pokal. We're out of the UCL. And let's be honest, Bayern are defo winning the title again this year. I'm sorry, but I just don't want to be here anymore. And with the January transfer window round the corner, I'd like you to to sell me. And I reply saying, I have to say you seem really happy here, so this is a bit of a surprise. If we gave you a better contract, would this persuade you to stay as we really need you here? And Adiemi replied saying, this really isn't about money, Goodwin. I want to be playing at the highest level, and at Dortmund that just isn't going to happen. If any big teams come in for me, I'd like you to sell me, or at least consider their offer. If you don't, I will simply refuse to play for the rest of the season. I've got to be honest, that is a massive blow to us. He's 21, 83 rated. Look how much he's grown already. And it really didn't take long for someone to come in for him. Manchester City wants him for 62.2 million. But you better believe if we are serious about selling our DM, I'm getting way more than 62.2 million. So let's see if they'll go for that. I'm going to put in a return offer for 74 mil. If they really want him, they'll accept. And they have accepted 74 million on the dot. We could definitely afford a replacement for our now. And of course, sign another player if we wanted to. And after the negotiations with Man City, I brought our into my office. You'll be pleased to know that Man City wanted to sign you and we've agreed a fee. It'll be sad to see you go, but I won't stand in the way of what you want to do. And Adiemi replied saying, that's amazing, Man City the best team in the world. Thank you for making this happen. Good luck to you and the boys for the rest of the season. And there he goes, guys. He's agreed personal terms with Manchester City. He's leaving German Giants Dortmund and joining England Giants Manchester City. And we've now got 123 million euros to bring in a replacement for Adiemi and to bring in another player if we want to. Now we could just bring Jamie Bano Gittens back off his loan move from Luton Town to replace Adiemi but honestly I've got somebody else in mind. I want Sancho ladies and gents he's 23, 83 rated. He has been recalled from United but he's already told us that he doesn't want to be at United anymore. He wants to join us and I'm gonna make that happen. And the likelihood is he won't cost as much as Kareem Adiemi so I'm gonna go dead cheeky and offer 59 million. Let's see if Baldy will actually accept it. He's accepted it! Oh my god! God, we're two for two straight away. We're going to straight up off 120 grand a week. It is five less than he's on at United, but I feel like because he wants to join Dortmund, he won't mind. And look at that. There you go, ladies and gents. Adiemi's replacement has officially been sorted. He'll be wearing the number seven jersey, but he is back where, in my opinion, he belongs back at Dortmund. And after he re-signed for us, he burst into my office looking dead happy. Goodwin, I am so happy you signed me as Adiemi's replacement. I know that losing Kareem is a big loss to this team, but I'm going to make sure that I worth every penny you spent on me and i replied saying and that's exactly why i signed you just keep playing how you are and we'll have a good shot of winning silverware this year now we do still have 61 million to spend ladies and gents and i feel like i know where to put that money we've got emery chan we've got ozkan and also emeka in that midfield but apart from them there's not really many decent midfielders is there but at the start of this season warren zaire emery was offered to us from psg in a swap deal for julian brandt and a lot of you guys were actually 
actually saying I should sign this guy on a permanent deal and I'm inclined to agree. I mean he's 17 years old, 79 overall as well. Dortmund do like to develop their youngsters so this guy definitely does fit the bill. And his market value isn't that much at all to be fair so we're definitely going to get him a lot cheaper than I thought. We've just offered 34, are they going to accept it? Yes they are! So hang on a minute, they've accepted an offer under his market value, was his contract running out or something? Regardless guys we're going to offer 80 grand a week, I know he's on 10 grand but I feel like if I offer just above that he'll just walk out and I don't really want that to happen. Is he going to accept it? Yes he is, that's another player added to Borussia Dortmund and what a player he is. So in this window we have signed a short term replacement for Kobel, we've signed Sancho as Adiemi's replacement and we've got a little bit more depth in our midfield, I'd say this window has been pretty damn successful. And I do feel like we should leave it there, granted we've got 25 million to spend but realistically guys we don't need to spend it on anywhere else in the team. I mean, it is looking pretty damn good if I do say so myself. We do have Malagon now in the team and he is way better than Maya, let's be completely honest. Sancho is back in the team. We are converting him to a winger as we speak. I'm hoping that once he is converted to a winger, he goes up a little bit in overall too. Now looking at the Bundesliga, we are top of it and we are still somehow undefeated after 16 games. But if we do want to remain top of the Bundesliga, we've got to keep this form going that we've already got. And I'm hoping that the new signings of Malagon, Warren Zaire, Emery and Jay and Sancho can help us do that. So let's see if they can. A 3-2 win over Darmstadt, Makoko, Marlin and Makoku once again. I find it mental how good Makoko is at only 19 years old, man. He's got nine goals and two assists in 16 games. He's way too good for his age. But before we get to the next game, Sancho's training to become a winger's complete. He's going to go up to an 84-rated player. Beautiful. And I also have just converted Ben Sabani to a centre-back. And as you can see, it's disappointed. He just stayed at 79 overall. But we're back in the Bundesliga against FC Köln. It's another 3-0 win. Marco Royce, Daniel Marlon with a brace as well. And we've beaten Bochum 3-0 too. Makoku with a brace and Gertrude getting a goal. And those wins put us five points clear top of the Bundesliga. Granted, Bayern do have a game in hand, which they're definitely going to win. But as long as we keep our form up, we can't go wrong, really. But we're jumping back into Bundesliga action with a game against Arnhem. Can we find Sancho? Yes, we can. He's brought that down really nicely, to be fair. He's still on the ball. We're coming forward with it. He's coming on the left-hand side. He's done really well, to be fair. We're going to pull this back. We're going to find DeMarco. We're going to come inside. Brant's there. Emre Chan. Let's have a dink from distance. Come on. Oh, good save. And Mech has found Makoko. Makoko is going to find Daniel Marlin. He's been on form and then some in this game. Oh, look at that. 1-0 to us. Already 17 minutes in. Oh, that's a good ball to Makoko. Can he hit it from the... Oh, my God. What a goal, Yusuf and Makoko. He is an absolute monster, man. He had absolutely no right to score from that angle. We have now got a free kick. I tell you what, let's see if Julian Brandt's got a bit about him from a free kick. Oh, we almost scored that as well. Another free kick. This one looks a little too far out for just a normal one. We're just going to try something different and see what happens. Julian, what the hell was that? Oh my God, I'm never trying that again. Well, here comes Hardenheim on the counter attack. Malagon, oh my days. That's a great goal from Hardenheim. But that's the full-time whistle. Yet another three points gained. We're back again against Freiburg. Warren Zaya. Oh my god, we've just picked up our first loss of the season. Freiburg beat us 2 1. Brand gets a goal in the 77, but it's not enough. But we've got to bounce back, guys. We're against Wolfsburg now, away from home in the Bundesliga. Much trickier team to face than Freiburg, so I'm hoping that we can perform better too. I have also rotated to give our first team a little bit of a break, but we've got enough depth in the squad. I reckon we can pull this off without him. We have got a golden opportunity to go 1-0 up here. Sebastian Haller, there we go. 37 minutes on the clock, 1-0 up we go. Got Marco Royce on the ball, Ryerson. Okay, we've got some height in the box. Can we find that run back post? That's a beautiful ball in. No, we can't quite get it to him. And there we go, guys. Just like that, a 1-0 victory, another three points. But there's no time to celebrate. We're back into it. The second leg of the prelim round of the Europa League against West Ham. We are 3-2 up on aggregate, so we do have the advantage, but we can't take that at face value. We've got to get a win here just to be safe. And here comes Sancho, really trying to prove himself since returning. He's found Brand McC Koku's through, and just like that, ladies and gents, oh my god, we have torn West Ham United's defence apart, and we go 4-2 up on aggregate. Brandt is coming forward now, he spotted that run from Makoku, is it too much of a tight angle? No, it's not, he's 
we've got a brace in 36 minutes of this game. We're running away with it. Second Julian Brandt assist of the game. Second Makoku goal of the game. Honestly, West Ham needs to show off. Daniel Marlon's picked the ball up. Oh my God, he's over free. Look at him go. He's got so much pace. Marius Wolf can't keep up with him. Marlon's going to make this 3-0 before half time. This is game over, and it is embarrassing for West Ham. It's 6-2 on aggregate already. I simulated the game because there's no point. We finished the game 3-0, 6-2 on aggregate. We absolutely smashed West Ham, and we go through to the round of 16. And you honestly can't write this. Klopp is facing his former club in the round of 16. Dortmund are playing against Liverpool. Well, we're just not one English team out, so it's time to try and knock another one out. As for the Bundesliga, we are second in the league now. We have got a game in hand over Bayern, but this is what I mean. We have to win every single game, otherwise Bayern are going to make us pay for it. So having said that, against Hoffenheim, it's a 2-1 victory. Slaughterbeck and Daniel Marlin. Thank God for that. And we picked another 2-0 win up over Union Berlin. Full Krug with a brace. But our next game is against Liverpool in the Europa League round of 16. That came around really goddamn quickly, didn't it? But before we get into that, De Zern have sat down with Adiemi, and if you see what he's been saying about Dortmund and me, he says he loves Dortmund, but he's too good to play in the Europa he thinks we'd still be in the UCL if I wasn't a one-hit wonder. And he actually thinks Pochettino was right about me being too cocky and inexperienced. Do I need to remind him that I beat him last year to win the bloody Premier League? I thought Adiemi was better than that man. That has really disappointed me. Now, I've just brought Royce into my office to show him what I just saw on the zone. I can't believe he's done that, especially after how well this club has treated him. And I replied saying, well, there's only one way to shut him up. Let's prove him wrong. Let's win the Europa League and the Bundesliga and show him why he was wrong to want to leave this team. Here we go guys, first leg around 16 and it's a three all draw. Brandt, Mo Salah, Luis Diaz, DeMarco, Darwin Nunes and Fulkrug with the goals. It goes to the second leg. Back in the Bundesliga against Werder Bremen and it's a 2-1 loss. Oh no, no, no. I can already feel the Bundesliga slipping away from us. And what makes it worse guys, we've got Felix and Mecca injured now for seven goddamn weeks. We do have Warren Zaire Emery but it's just one thing after another. Thankfully though, Gregor Kobel is back in less than two weeks, man, and honestly, I can't wait to get him back in the starting 11. We've definitely missed him. But here we go, guys. Biggest game of the season so far. Round of 16, second leg against Liverpool. This should be a final. Never mind a round of 16 game. Here comes Yusuf and Makoku. Oh my god, that's a gorgeous ball. Warren Zaire, Emery, he's all on his own. Can he put us 1-0 up? Oh, what a save. But Liverpool are coming right back. Louis. Oh no. Oh, what just happened there? Louis Malagon literally shifted himself to the near post as opposed to the far. And Liverpool go 1-0 up. From almost scoring at one end to conceding at the other, it just shows you how clinical you've got to be when playing against Liverpool. Here we come, though. We've got the ball. Daniel Marlins on the right-hand side. Oh, hang on. We've got a bit of space. Can we have a dink from distance, Alisson, with another save? Got a bit of room. Let's go back post. Let's, oh, that's a gorgeous ball. Free Eddie. Gertrude makes it one apiece on the half-hour mark. What a bit of play that was. Gertrude was left completely unmarked. What a frigging cross that is, by the way, Julian Brandt. And Liverpool's defence went sleep and we take full advantage. But here come Liverpool. Oh my god, Shula's knackered. Why is he on the pitch if he's that tired? They've gone back post themselves. Jesus, we got away with that. So as it turns out, both Shula and Sancho are knackered. So Shula's going to come off for Hummels. Royce is going to go on the right-hand side. Actually, no. We're going to put Royce where Brandt is and Brandt where Royce is. First 45 minutes, there was nothing to separate us. The second 45 minutes, there has to be a decide. Well, there doesn't have to be. We could go to extra time, but here comes Daniel nope. Marlin. We could, oh, oh, hang on. We could, no. Yes. Makoku. Oh, my God. We have made it 2-1 inside the first five minutes of the second half. Makoku, right time, right place. Get in. Liverpool are on the attack now, though, ladies and gents. We've got to make sure that we're defending tight at the back. No silly errors. And that is a silly error. And Mo Salah takes full advantage. We just couldn't get a frigging tackle in. I honestly hate Liverpool so much, man. You just can't do anything against them when they do that and it doesn't tell where we've got a crap keeper and goal either Liverpool are coming forward once again with Luis Diaz. We need to get a tackle in here. Gertrude is being taken out way too easily there. Luis Diaz is making mincemeat of him. He's coming forward still. He's got all oh my days. He's actually worked his way around. Can we get a tackle in please? Oh my days. No! What is going on with our defence, man? That hadn't better be Mo Salah again. I might take Gertrude off, man. He's been torn apart by Luis Diaz. It's literally thanks to Gertrude that we are now 3-2 down. 
Okay, we're coming forward with DeMarco. He's taking their left back out. This is good. Okay, Daniel Marlin is on the ball. He's against Van Dijk. We can definitely get past Van Dijk. Oh, my God. This is the chance. Daniel Marlin to me. Oh, my days. Allison, suck a big fat bag of Oh, no. Mo Salah is through. Hummels is trying to catch him. It's game over, ladies and gents. Oh, my God. No way. Oh, my God, Hummels. What a defensive block. That's the that's the play of the season, ladies and gents. We've got one up left in this game. Can we get it up? We can't get it up in time. Liverpool have knocked us out of the Europa League. The only competition we are competing to win now is the Bundesliga. Honestly, it's just mental to think what would have happened this season if Gregor Kobel hadn't got injured. Back in the Bundesliga, we need a big win here, and that's exactly what we get. 4-1, Marlon, Makoko, Julian Brandt, and Makoko with a brace. As you can see, ladies and gents, Bayern are still top. We are second, one point behind them. We have to win pretty much every single game from now until the end of this season if we do want to win the Bundesliga. And just look who our next game is, Bayern Munich. So this pretty much does decide who wins the title. But we do finally have good news. Gregor Kobel is back in action at long goddamn last. So at least now we've got a very good keeper in between the sticks. And this time we're going into the game. Everybody fit as a fiddle. Everybody is sharp. Everybody's on form after that 4-1 win. We are ready for buying. Koku on the ball. We're going to try and find Sancho. Sancho is in behind. He's got so much room to run into. We're going to try and take this shot. Can we put... Oh my god, Jaden Sancho has put us 1-0 up in the first 10 minutes. Kareem Adeyemi's replacement coming in clutch for his money well spent. Petrude is on the ball. We're going to look for that run from Jaden Sancho once again. So far, he is having his way down the right-hand side of the pitch. He's going to go back post. Can we find Daniel Marlin? We can't quite get the air here. Here comes Jamal Musiala. He's trying to find Komen, but two no avail. Gertrude is on form in this game already, I can tell. So, yeah, Emery's picked the ball up. We're going to try and... Oh, what a ball to Makoko. Makoko's still on the ball. Can he put it 2-0 up? Oh, my God. What an opportunity missed. Oh, no. Jamal Musiala's through Kobel. Come on. Come and clutch. Dude, it's your debut back after your injury. You've got to be doing better than that to make an impact into the team. We've got Julian Brandt coming forward. We're going to find Jaden Sancho back in. Oh, my God. This is beautiful. Take a yeah, shot, Makoko. Nah. And it's saved. Good start to the second half after going one apiece. That's a great delivery. Oh, my God. What a goal from Slotterbeck. Oh, my God. What a delivery. Slotterbeck. Beck, you beautiful man. Schlotterbeck on corners is an absolute demon man. Schlotterbeck came from the goalkeeper to the centre point in the box to get the header away. And he makes it 2-1 to Dortmund. Herman's on the ball. Inside he comes. Gertrude's with him. He's trying to find a bit of space. Can we get a tackle in? No, we can't. Oh, my God. Jamal Musial it makes it 2 all Koble. I'm sorry. Koble's got to be doing better than that. Bayern have got a corner kick here. Koke is going to take it. And he's going to go straight into Koble's. Oh, what? I'm gone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Koble. Why aren't you catching that, you And here they come. Oh, my days. They're playing it around so nicely. And there it is. All that because Kobel decided to punch a corner away when he had so much time and space to actually collect it. Maybe playing Kobel against Bayern was the wrong move, man. Maybe it was too early for him to come back. But here we come, Zaire. Emery is on the ball. We're going to try and find Julian Brandt. Julian Brandt inside to Daniel Molin, please. Oh, my God, we got a lifeline. Oh, my God, that was so nice from Julian Brandt. Daniel Molin does put it away. There is still a chance with 12 minutes to go we can get the three points. What a roller coaster this game is man seriously what a second off Jaden Sancho is on the ball he has spotted that run from Julian Brandt oh my god surely this has got to be it this is oh no Julian Brandt put a bit of power on it you donkey here we come though Julian Brandt we've got Makoku on the ball Makoku against Kim Min Jae we're gonna square that oh my god this is it we've done it ladies and gents with three minutes to go oh my god what a comeback we have just beaten Bayern Munich 4-3 and we may have just clenched the title. What a bit of play from Makoku, man. So unselfish. Only 19 years old having the awareness like that to spot Marlin in open space. Beautiful goal. A beautiful three points as well. Oh, no, I spoke too soon. What a save, Gregor Kobel. Oh, 
My God, he made up for his blunder early in the game, but that settles it. The full-time whistle's gone. Thanks to Gregor Kubel, we have got away with all three points. We are now against Stuttgart, a team. Oh, my God. After all that, a three-all draw. We went through all that shenanigans against Bayern Munich to draw against Stuttgart. Are you kidding me? And that leaves us joined top of the Bundesliga going into the final stretch of our first season in charge of Dortmund, man. I still believe we can do it. We can definitely... Definitely do. We just have to be perfect from now until the very end of this campaign. But Dortmund's owner has just pulled me into his office and he is not happy. Goodwin, because of your success at Chelsea, I've left you alone and just assumed that you knew what you were doing. You came here to win us the Bundesliga and the UCL and right now it doesn't look like you can do either. So here's what's going to happen. If you win the title, your job is at least safe until the end of next season. But if you don't, just like Malagon, when you found him, you will be a free agent as we will terminate your contract here at Borussia Dortmund.